hey guys welcome to the channel and thank you for watching kepa arisa balaga i always call him mr abracadabra man of the match confirmed by the premier league and by chelsea fans congratulations one more time look at this my friend five saves amazing right <laughs> 10 recovery okay let's check on the results here Kepa was first 43 percent the second guy to be voted here was uh, David Raya Martin and uh, Kulibali also got 10 percent uh, Mark Kukurea 9 percent Ben me Ben me <laughs> 5 percent and you can read the rest so respect man i'm so happy to see this brother here uh performing in that level because uh we paid a lot of money and now he's paying back and uh, that new girlfriend is doing wonder <laughs> kepa is happy we are happy my friend you know what i mean so uh just reminding you some of the statistics here so in this video, we're going to discuss about some talking point and also player ratings very quickly. You know what I mean? So if uh, you don't mind, please uh, like the video, comment down below, share, subscribe to the channel. You know, it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't, you know, take you any time. One second of your life. Much, much appreciate it, my friends. Let's continue here very quickly talking we talked about Kepa Arisa Balaga. The game really uh, wasn't really the way I expected. I was waiting for a moment of magic. I knew it was going to be very difficult. I predicted 2-1 and I got it wrong. Completely wrong. Uh, but we didn't concede, my friends. We didn't score. And uh, so many big teams... Uh, got punished by Bradford at the end. Yeah, I got it this time. Every time I write, you know, I write like Bradford. It when I click like done, it uh, it's written Brighton for some reason. Only Brighton is in my dictionary, so then I have to fix that. But yeah, Br Bradford. Many, many big teams went there and suffered. So we got away with a point. Could have been better or worse, but I would take it. This is the process and it's going to be up and downs. Anyways, my, my people, I am going to combine player ratings with talking point, all right? Chukwe Mecca, my brother, first of all, congratulations for your debut in the Premier League for Chelsea Football Club. Correct me if I am wrong, but this could be the first uh, start for him in the Premier League. I might be wrong, okay? But let me know in the comment section down below. Whatever it is, I think this brother deserves 8 out of 10 from me. I know he made some mistakes, some rookie mistakes any kid is going to make. People understand that this guy is like 18 years old. Okay? Probably almost 19 or something. In between 18 and 20. Still a kid. You can't even buy a beer in America. You need to be 21. So this guy is still a kid. And I like the cameo that he showed on the pitch. I was happy. A um, few times that he got undone or a few times that he could have done better, like pass the ball first time to Raheem Sterling that was in the better position, but he waited a little bit. But listen, it's a rookie. He's a rookie. Rookie mistake. He's going to make those mistakes. And if you give him playing time, the brother is going to deliver. The future is here. Chukwe Mecca is here. I don't care what anybody else is going to say. Chuku is going to be the big headlines in the years to come at Chelsea Football Club. Mark my word. Let's go. Number two. Yeah, uh, I wanted to mention the, the gaffer. The manager himself is going to get eight out of ten. No, 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 seven. Seven out of ten from me. 
you know, every single lineup now we question ourselves. What is a career? What is a politic? What is Hakim Ziyech? Blah, 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 blah. The end of the day, he's paid to make decisions and I will respect his decision until when he comes to the point where clearly he's doing something out of ordinary or hating other people for no reason or benching other people who deserve to be on the pitch, I am going to continue to support him and give him the benefit of the doubt. You know, I'm not a cultist. I'm not a fanboy. I can praise you today and I can criticize you tomorrow. That's what football is all about. So I I am not going to hate somebody for the heck of it because because what people want to hear. And I'm not going to praise you just because everybody is jumping to the band, bandwagon. Uh, at the beginning, I always know that it's a lose-lose situation for every manager. You have to win. If you don't win, Georgian people are going to ask you questions. Politic people, you know, are going to ask you. Zakaria, it looks like he's the most loved player at Chelsea without even kicking a ball. Everybody is convinced that this brother is the second coming of Jesus. I don't know how they know it. Yeah, YouTube, of course. But they don't ask themselves the question why he was on the bench for six months at Juventus and they accepted to let him go. This guy come, coming from a very bad ACL injury when he was at, uh, at Glambach and all that. So we don't know what is happening in, in training ground. I am going to give this guy here the benefit of the doubt. Uh, Mr. Graham Porter is going to get 7 out of 10 very quickly before it get too long here. Uh, get well soon, Kano Gallagher. I thought he was injured, but it's not an injury. He just um, had um, some kind of illness. He didn't feel good. But at the end, uh, he, he looked like he's okay and probably is going to be available against Manchester United. So I'm not going to rate him. He was there for less than 15 minutes. And he wasn't even on the pitch. You could tell that something was going on with him. So I can't rate him at all. Kepa, Mr. Abragadabra, 9 out of 10. Listen, he deserves 10 out of 10. I completely understand. You want to give him 10? Go for it, my brother. Give him 10 out of 10. For me, I'm going to give him 9 out of 10 because still a little shaky in certain situations, especially air ball. When we have set pieces and defenders are pushing him around, he doesn't command he will punch the ball. Today I was happy because he punched the ball and it was 50% 50 50 punch. It wasn't a 100% one. He almost missed it, but he went a little further to allow him to reposition himself. But most of the time, 99% of the time, he's going to punch it like 10% punch or he's going to get undone. Or he's going to be 20% punch. Like he doesn't really punch it with conviction. Like he, he just look at people around him instead of just go there. You don't care about who is there. If you're going to get injured or whatever, I don't care. I am going to get that ball. So if he can really improve that and not be so afraid in the box, 10 out of 10 is coming his way very soon. Armando Broja first start for, for Chelsea. Start. I'm talking I'm not talking about debut here. Starting the game in the Premier League today was the first day, 8 out of 10 rookie situations. He was alone in the box with Mason Mount waiting in the far post. He couldn't pass. Probably he didn't see it. He was so blinded to score himself. That's what you're going to get from a young player. Sometimes selfish sometimes try to do a little bit too much and then miss a golden opportunity. But I'm going to give him 8 out of 10. Handful. He was amazing. Beside those little mist here and there, he was amazing. Did I talk about uh, Chukwe Mecca, right? Yeah, Chukwe Mecca, 8 out of 10 to encourage him. Very quickly, I talked about the gaffer already. Cesar Aspilicueta, 7. Ruben, 7. Uh... Kulibali seven. He was immense in that box today. Ivan Tony couldn't really. Yeah, he he got the best out of him few times. We were lucky few times, but 
he coped with him nicely. They didn't score, so I'm not going to complain too much. Yeah, I saw him get undone a few times here and there, but yeah, that is Koulibaly, man. Jorginho Frelo, 7 out of 10. I'm sick and tired of talking about Jorginho. Christian Pulisic, 7 out of 10, had a chance that he should really. He hit the ball very hard, unfortunately. It was straight to the goalkeeper. And some situations here and there, when he came on, him, Chukwe Mika, and who else, they changed completely the game in the second half. But same old, same old, the final third, huh, we were looking for the moment of brilliance from somebody like Mount, the other, the other game against Aston Villa. We were waiting for a moment of brilliance for somebody to just, you know, get us three points, but it didn't happen today. Chaloba, 7 out of 10. Let me give him 8 out of 10. I'm sorry. I have to give him 8 out of 10. When he's on the pitch, Chelsea never lost a game for two seasons. The, the, the record is going to be broken. I know it's going to happen one day. But for now, he's very solid. Kukureya, 6 out of 10. I didn't see much really from him. Or probably I'm being very... Uh, very harsh here from him, but I'm gonna give him six out of ten. Um, Kova six out of ten because I'm expecting much from him, like shooting from distance. Every time that brother shoot, it goes to the moon, or it's just like a baby, sh a baby shot that will go straight to the goalkeeper. He doesn't know how to aim. The goal to, you know, the ball to the top corner or bottom corner. I'm sick and tired of talking about him. But he was solid. But I don't know. It's some some ba um, uh, some bias opinion here. It could be a bias opinion from me. Because how how much I expect from him. Aubameyang, it's kind of unfair to rate him. He came for 10 minutes. Had some moment here and there. 6 out of 10. Manson Mount, yeah, 6 out of 10 because I expect more from Mount. We know how he can do. Today, I couldn't see those moments from Manson Mount and I don't want to be biased. If Yeah, today I didn't see it. Probably you saw it. You can give him 7 or 8, but I'm going to give him 6. Raheem Sterling, I'm still waiting, man. He had some situations in the box that he could have like shoot it first time and score no he wanted to take extra second until uh he got tackled few situations that what is going on with raheem sterling we have to get to the bottom of, of it but that's what you expect from raheem sterling right okay four out of ten my lowest score is going to um kai harvard again i am confused i don't know what is his best position we all were thinking that number 10 force nine two in front lone striker we tried so many positions he's just like moment fc on his day he's gonna do good on his moment he's gonna do he's gonna do good he's like 22 23 years old still need to find the right position for him and he need to do more than only score in the Champions League final and all the credit that he's getting now is just because he scored some important goals in the history of Chelsea Football Club. But he need to improve. Four out of ten. Listen, this is my own bias, my own choices. You don't have to attack anybody. If you know a little bit more and you saw the game differently, you can just... Uh, Give us your player ratings and we can keep the conversation going politely.